to We'll take off our phones and we'll turn off our shoes We'll play Nintendo, though I always lose Cause you watch the TV while I'm I'm gonna be sharing a little part of me, I guess in a way, but this is literally just 10 minutes of my life basically compressed in one tiny video that it's not even touching the surface of what my life really is but my life has always been complicated, frustrating, sad, angry, happy, full of love, laughter, all that stuff but there's nothing I would ever change. Growing up was a hard thing to do because of the certain circumstances we were put in. But I wouldn't know what to do if I didn't have my twin sister, Mercy, beside me this whole time. She means the world to me, and I wouldn't know what to do if she wasn't by my side. She is my rock, and she has helped me grow, live, and love in ways I couldn't imagine. We've encountered so many obstacles in life, and every time, we've overcome them together. And even though we are both so different, we still completely understand each other. Even when we don't always get along, I just want her to know how much I appreciate her and love her for everything that she's done for me. My mom is one of the most kind, beautiful, and amazing people I've ever had in my entire life. She is my superhero. It's not always easy to be young and raise kids by yourself, but I don't know how she did it. She always made sure we were okay before she was. She always makes me feel better whether it's a headache or a fever. She really takes good care of the people who she loves and cares about. I'm so blessed and incredibly thankful to have a mom who I can call one of my best friends. And I hope one day I can be as good of a mother as she was with my kids. As many of my friends know this, I consider my stepdad as my real dad. My mom had met him when we were about six and my sister and I's life changed completely. I learned that a father isn't someone just by blood, but a father is someone who takes on that role of choosing to raise a child. And that's what my dad did. I learned so much from him. He teaches me how a husband should love his wife and how a father should love his daughters. He was our dad from the moment we met him. But there's nothing like doing nothing so i actually have another sister and we are about 10 years apart her name is dylan and <laughs> dylan is the life of my life she always knows how to make me laugh when i cry and can easily put me in such a better mood it's so amazing to see her grow up and become the young woman she is um, being a part of her life and getting to raise her was something i never knew I would be a part of. It's truly a blessing being a role model for her. My friends are so, so special to me. They have impacted my life in such a big way that I'm sure they don't even understand or know, but they are family. They've taught me so much and they let me experience the good and the bad that comes with everything. But they love me through all of it. They accept all of me for who I am and they've helped shape me into the woman I am today. Because I know if I didn't have these certain friends and people in my life, I could have went down the wrong path. And without my biggest supporters, Izzy, Kate, Bea, Hannah, Regina, and D'Angelo. I wouldn't know what I would do without you guys. Looking back at these pictures and videos of the service chip, it only shows how much of what really happened because 
it's something you can only experience because it literally changes your life not just being out of your comfort zone for two weeks and visiting different villages every day and interacting with kids you see how much of how blessed and grateful we are to what we have back home because they live in such scary and bad conditions where we can't even imagine what they go through just to go to school just to have dinner just to go to work you really see how blessed we are to be living the way we live and giving back is so so important and that's what made me realize how much i loved serving and helping other people i'll say it's stupid then you'll catch me crying we're not not only did the service trip change my life it helped me grow my relationship with god cuz me helping other people is serving the lord before i was never a practicing catholic until now and i learned that it was all in god's timing because he made himself present when he knew i needed him the most it's something you have to experience in your own way because at times i can't even explain it to myself i can't even explain the feeling of god's presence i didn't know who i was until i found myself through god he transformed my life He knew that I was on this earth for a purpose cuz we are made for so much more. He is so much more than just a feeling. He is the beautiful creator of existence. He is always there for me and I have given him so many reasons not to love me, yet he still does unconditionally. And with me being so involved in my faith, I've let so much a part of me be open with the lord and i've gained so much brothers and sisters through all of it like they help me be with him every day so one thing i want to say before ending this documentary is whether i showed parties friends family vacation and even serving the lord i just want at least one person watching this video to get that sharing your story is so so beautiful cuz i used to be that person who was so scared and shy of opening that deep past of themselves and when i did i didn't know that i could heal so much and grow so much just by opening myself and to whoever this relates to i just pray that you guys find healing and opening up and sharing your story and i wish nothing but the best but love and happiness that comes out of it because i found so much joy in opening myself up to those people and for being who i am because of it so i hope you guys enjoyed thanks for watching